Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a spreadsheet and start to enter data for your vacation project. First thing you want to do once again is make sure you're logged into your St. Michael's uh, account on Google Drive. Again, you can hover over your icon and make sure your email address is there. First step is to actually make sure that you are in the proper folder. So you want to be in your first name, last initial, Math Vacation Project folder. Once you're in that folder, you simply want to create a spreadsheet and it will ask you if you want to share that. Anything that you go that goes into this folder, of course, is going to be shared. So we're going to create our spreadsheet and share it. Step one is to actually name your spreadsheet. It'll say untitled at the top and you're going to want to call it your first name, last initial, whoops, rich, last initial and math vacation spreadsheet. That way it's easy for the teachers to find it and to know what it is. Now within our actual vacation project, if we look at our project again, we can see that we have to research and make notes and options for transportation, shelter, food, clothing, recreational activities and time of year. So we're going to look at doing one part. We're going to look at the transportation piece. So let's suppose that we actually want to, uh, within our spreadsheet, keep track of our transportation. We're going to give ourselves some room, and, but we're going to type out headings, trans, P -O -R -T, transportation, and we're going to probably want subcategories for our transportation and maybe also put where we're going. The better we can organize this, the easier it is going to be to find information. There is a chance you also want to include dates. There's all kinds of things you could include here. So <clears throat> I'm going to actually leave a space in case I do want to include dates. And I'm just going to move this over. You'll notice when I went to move a cell, everyone is called a cell. In this case, the cell is, is named by its column B and its row. So this would be cell B1. If I wait, if I hover over and I get the little hand I can move things back and forth. I'm going to include a category here so I need to move this down a little bit. So at the top I want to put category. So this is going to be the category of any of my expenses. Now it's also possible that I want to include any dates that they're going to happen. I find it easier to organize things by dates, um, organize the various expenses by dates. So I'm going to look at transportation and perhaps one of the main categories of my transportation is going to be airfare. And I know that airfare, although it is part of my transportation, it's actually formed a subcategory. So I've chosen to organize my spreadsheet this way. You may choose a different way. And my airfare, because I'm going to start my travel on December 23rd, uh, actually I want to be home for Christmas. So I'm going to do it on December 16th. We're going to travel and we're going to do airfare. Well, along with the airfare, I may want to include some other information. That's totally up to you what you would like to include, but perhaps it's a cost. And I know that with my cost, I've done some research. And when I checked out the research, it was going to be $238 per person where I was going to fly one way. <clears throat> and then I knew that with my cost, oh, I want this to be in a format that it's a little bit easier to read. So I want to format this cell. I don't know if there's pennies in here or not unless I can see the decimal places. So I actually want to format this cell by going format number and I want to include it in a money format. So I'm going to actually include it as currency and you'll notice this currency has decimals. And now we include the money. I also, besides including the cost, I also need to include a tax. Well, with my airfare, my tax on airfare is going to include both the provincial sales tax as well as the goods and services tax. So those two taxes added together are going to come out to be 11%. So I don't want to have to calculate all these because 
although this airfare is one way, I need, so this airfare is actually me going, I also need an airfare for me returning. So I'm going to copy the cell, edit, copy, or control C. So copy, and I'm going to paste this in, and I'm actually going to be airfare return. Now I've found out that the cost of my airfare is going to remain the same, so I'm going to copy and paste. It's the same going as coming. And then for my tax, I actually want to take this two, um, $238 and I want to actually figure out how much I'm going to have to pay in tax. So my tax is going to be equal to whatever the value is in this cell, D4, times in this case it's 11 percent 0.11 and now when I hit enter it, the computer will automatically calculate that so by including a formula in the spreadsheet the computer does the calculation for me now the really nice thing about working with the spreadsheet is if I grab this little part in the corner so I get a part um, it looks like a little cross I can actually pull this down to the next cell and it will copy that formula down. Now if we look at this cell here, uh, E cell E4, we can see that the value in E4 is calculated by taking cell D4 and multiplying by 0.11 or 11%. If I use the cell down below, I can see that the value is calculated by multiplying D5 times 0.11. That has some real advantages because if I find out the airfare has changed coming back and instead of 238 it's now gone to $253, when I hit enter it's going to automatically recalculate cell E5 and it's automatically worked out the new price. Well. I'd like to know what the total cost is for my airfare, the cost plus the tax. And this cost is only for one person, so I'm going to put per person. And perhaps it's the same for an adult as it is, as it is for a student. Um, we'd have to take that into account within our spreadsheet. So if we're doing total cost per person, then we want to figure out a formula that's going to go in here to add these two together. Well, that's pretty easy. We just put that cell equals, so cell F4 equals this cell, and I can click on the cell or I can type it in. So I'm going to click on it and I get D4 plus, and now I can type in this cell E4. I hit enter and it automatically calculates the cost. Once again, rather than type it in, I'll select this and I will scroll down. Now, I could also say, what is my cost per group? So, the group cost is going to equal the cost of F4 times how many people are in our group and let's say the adults and the students are the same price when we work that out there's 14 people going in total times 14 and my spreadsheet automatically calculates the cost as three thousand six hundred ninety eight dollars and fifty two cents and then I can just pull that down well tragedy occurred and I just found out that the cost of my going flight has changed so I can actually take this, the value in that cell, and automatically change it to, let's say it goes up to $254, and we'll see that the tax will change, the cost per person will change, and the group cost will change automatically for me. So, so, so spreadsheets are really good for doing what if. Finally, I want to figure out my total airfare costs. I can say here, total air fare and I can calculate that out as equaling this 
value going plus the value return plus the cost returning hit enter and it'll work out the total cost likewise if I want to have the total cost per person for airfare the total tax per person and I probably want to actually put tax per ticket or per person here and cost per ticket here as well then I can actually have the spreadsheet calculate that all out for me simply by hitting whoops little spell mistake I can have the spreadsheet calculated out by grabbing the this little cell and because the cell once again is equal to the addition of the two cells above I just grab the cell and I can drag it over and it will total all of these down now the last part I want to make sure is that this cell here is formatted using currency because I want to show the decimal points and I've just figured out my airfare so my research comes in really handy for figuring all that out I could go over and I could add something else so let's say I want to tell my teacher that that the airfare was the same for adults as students I could add another column called notes and say air fare is the same for anyone over 12 years old so I can include that in there and that tells the teacher that the airfare remains the same I can also have this spreadsheet move over the other thing I can do with spreadsheets is I could put a note in and I could write I could highlight a particular cell and I could put in a comment make a comment and the comment could be um, make sure you check this before you hand in the project so that's a comment to myself and it will remind me before I hand this project in that I actually want to be able to go back and check it the final things you can do with spreadsheets that are really neat are just little touch-ups so I may want to have all of these in bold just so that they stand out a little bit more my dates um, I know that I'm leaving on 12 16 23 which means I'm going to return on December 23rd 2013 and it's automatically going to format that if I don't want that type of format I can go up to the format I can choose no I can choose dates and I can have it formatted like how I typed it in and it will automatically format that I can change the size of each of the columns by just grabbing the very top part and adjusting it so there's lots of really really neat things you can do with spreadsheets that will help you stay organized as you get your research put it in here and it will really help you uh, we'll put together one more video that shows you how to take screen captures and how you're going to save things um, finally I should mention that with this spreadsheet because we have saved it and because uh, Google Drive auto saves everything this spreadsheet is actually going to be saved in your Google Drive account and when we open up our Google Drive account in the vacation project your spreadsheets all saved and ready to go which can be accessed anywhere any saves are automatically saved so thank you very much I hope this has been helpful for you and good luck planning your project.